This video is an update to my old video, How I Make Stick Figure Animations, a video tutorial. Many people who watched that video were wondering where I got the programs, most of which were not free. Adobe Image Ready isn't even being made anymore, and I was using an old version of Magic's Music Maker. In this video, I will tell you how to make a stick figure GIF animation using free programs you can easily find online by doing a Google search. All you need is a working computer and a webcam, like that one. I will show you step by step how to make the GIF animation, then convert the GIF back into a video format for upload to YouTube. You will need to download a total of three programs, Virtual Dub, Microsoft GIF Animator, and Benetton Movie GIF. Hopefully watching this video will make it easier for you to make and share a JHH Wild style stick figure animation of your own. The first program you will need is a program called Virtual Dub, which you can use to record video off of your webcam, among other things. You can easily download it for free by searching for it on Google or by going to its official website. When you are ready to record the video, click on Virtual Dub, then go to File, then click on Capture AVI. If your video does not show up, you may need to go to Device and select your webcam or go to video and select overlay. Before you record the video, click on file and set the capture file name. Choose wherever you want to save the file. I'm saving it on the desktop. Type in your file name and save. Then go to video, select capture pin and change the frame rate to 10. The color space compression should be YUY2 and I'm using 640 by 480 as the output size. Click on apply then click OK. Then go to capture and select capture video or press F5 or F6. For this animation I'm going to kick the stick figure in the head. Once you are done go to capture and select stop capture or press escape. Now exit the program. Your video should be saved. Next you'll need to open the video with Microsoft GIF Animator, a program you can download for free off of various websites you can find by searching for it on Google. Open the program and drag the video into it like this. Wait for it to load. Once it is loaded, select each frame that you do not want by holding shift and then clicking on the frame that you want your animation to start at. Then press the X button. Do this again except select the frame you want the animation to end at, hold shift, then delete the rest of the frames. Then once you're done with that, go to the animation tab, select looping, and repeat forever. Then save the animation. Choose where you want to save the animation to. I'm saving it to the desktop. Then click save. Now you are done with Microsoft GIF Animator. Now you are ready to use Benetton Movie GIF to edit the GIF animation that you just made. Click on the program and wait for it to load. Once the program is loaded, open the GIF animation that you just made. Choose the frame that you want to edit then click on the pencil button or edit frame button. You can use these various different tools and it even has an onion skin option. Change the color of the brush, click OK, choose the thickness, then draw on the frame. If you are not satisfied with what you just drew, just press Ctrl Z to undo. Once you are satisfied, press the check button to close and save the changes. Then move on to the next frame. I will fast forward as I edit the rest of the frames.
Once you are done with the animation, click Save Animation as GIF. Select Loop the Animation Forever and click OK. Choose where you want to save it. I'm saving it to the desktop. And type in your file name. Now click Save. Your animation should be saved to the desktop. In order to convert the animated GIF you just made into video format for upload to YouTube, open Virtual Dub. Then go to File, then click on Open Video File. Then select your animation, click Open. Since it is a short animation, some of the frames at the end of the animation may be cut off. So edit, copy, edit, paste so that it repeats twice. Then go to File, then click on Save as AVI. Choose where you want to save it at and choose the file name. Click on Save. Then it should be saved as an AVI file and you can upload it to YouTube. Now here is the final product. Now your stick figure animation should be complete. If you have any questions or problems, you can ask in the comments section below. Feel free to make your own stick figure animation and post it as a video response. And feel free to share your own methods of making stick figure animations. And most of all, have fun. Thank you. Goodbye.